the sixth grade, we're here with part four. And if you may recall from before, I told you we were skipping three chapters, and we did. Part four is entitled The Stockade, and the first three chapters detail a battle between the pirates and the honest hands. And that, we've switched narrators for those three chapters from Jim to the doctor. And the doctor tells us about this battle. Poor Tom Redruth dies. Abraham Gray realizes that, you know what, pirates see is bad, switches sides and goes back to the honest hands. He gets hurt during the fight, too. But we find out a couple things. But in chapter 19, the narrative resumed by Jim Hawkins, the garrison in the stockade, we get the details from Jim's point of view. Jim and Ben Gunn are still watching. They see the Union Jack. Um, and Jim's like, oh, the pirates are probably flying that to trick me to come back. And Ben Gunn's like, no, the pirates, they hate Great Britain. They hate being honest. They'd be flying the Jolly Roger. And they can see that the Hispaniola, the Jolly Roger, is flying. And they can see some of the pirates hacking up the jolly boat that the captain, the doctor the squire, and the other honest hands would he use to get to shore. So the pirates have possession of the Hispaniola. The honest hands are in the fort. And a fight goes on, and some cannonballs go flying, and Ben Gunn, after telling Jim that he's going to go to the same spot where Jim found him, and that's where the doctor and the squire and the captain can meet him, they separate ways when a cannonball comes there. Jim sees the white rock Ben Gunn spoke of and knows where Ben Gunn's tiny little raft, not very seaworthy, but still a boat, is located, and Jim makes his way to the stockade, and he's there, he sees poor dead Tom Redruth, um, the captain keeps everyone busy so that they are not getting distracted with the fact that some of their friends have died, he's trying to keep everyone's minds off the, how bad the situation is, he laments that this is the first ship he's ever lost command of, um, and that's a big deal, um, in the Navy, even to today, although it doesn't happen very often, if you lose a ship, you're, there's automatically an inquiry because, you know, a ship is a, it's a big deal. Um, so he's sort of lamenting that the pirates have his ship. The doctor is taking care of things. But the doctor, actually, upon hearing Ben Gunn wants cheese, lets Jim know, go look at my snuff box. And a snuff box would be where you would keep chewing or snorting tobacco. Um, but the doctor doesn't smoke. He's been keeping a wedge of Parmesan cheese in there. Um, and he says Ben Gunn can have it. So Ben Gunn is going to get his cheese. It's all going to turn out all right. It's a little bit of comic relief after losing some of the honest hands. And as this is going on, the doctor points out that they have two allies, that the pirates are camped out basically in a bog that's going to be swamp ridden and full of disease, and they're getting drunk. Jim, as he was, saw them going back and forth, chopping up boats and stuff, he could tell by the way they were speaking that the pirates were drunk, that they had had a lot of rum already. And so the doctor points out their two allies are going to be climate and the fact that the pirates can't help themselves around rum. But the chapter ends with Long John Silver coming up under a flag of truce, meaning he wants to negotiate. If any of you are fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, he's come to parlay. What do you think Long John wants to talk about? What do you think he wants? What do you think he's going to offer them? Um, how do you think the situation is going to turn out? Because the honest hands are still badly outnumbered. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one, 6th grade.